yeah, I started doing this craft because I like working with my hands. I like the feel of a good, good tool in my hands and a sharp blade and it's a nice quality of, of space that I can get into when I'm working, doing this kind of work. It's slow and I think there's something really, uh, really important about that. It's a way to slow down and stay focused, develop concentration, develop agility and dexterity with our hands, our fingers, these wonderful hands and bodies that we have that can do so many things. a lot is lost <laughs> yeah the ability we have the human beings what we can do with these 10 fingers is uh, pretty mind-blowing so the amount that humans have developed over time is is really quite incredible and to just lose all that and throw it away is uh, I don't know I think it's kind of a shame from a from a development perspective but also like I said from a self-cultivation perspective it's it's just a nice, it's a meditation working with your hands and developing a skill and on a more kind of roots, community and survival level, I don't think it's wise to uh, completely abandon all these old skills. We need them, you know, and we probably need them again. It's definitely a, an element that uh, seems really important or very relevant to me about having a local economy and, and uh, local local craftspeople, local, of course, food producers is uh, is huge, and a lot of people are becoming more and more aware of that. People need to know how to take care of themselves, build homes, and look after their children, and make stuff. We need to be able to build things. We need to be able to make our clothing. We need to be able to make our, our shoes. So I, I just like the idea of a classic village. I mean, it's a romantic image now, but I think it's also very real about uh, having a, a diversity of skills in whatever size village or city or community. Something made by hand takes a long time to make. It's not worth pumping out something that's garbage and that's disposable, so I'm not making disposable stuff. I want to make stuff the best quality I possibly can, that lasts a long time, use the best materials possible, build it the best way possible, make it artistic too and personal, but really it needs to be functional and last and, and stuff that's repairable. Get away from the mentality that everything's disposable and replaceable. 